When we are very young, we learn to see conceptually, that is by singling out things, people and objects, so we can make sense of the world. And we draw that way sometimes by drawing single things out in the middle of nothing. Uh, when we draw and sketch using framing, we want to draw in a more optical way using optical seeing, which is more like a camera that includes everything within the frame, the context. So in this case, the blade of grass that we saw earlier is in with all these other blades of grass. Uh, in the context. The great French Impressionist painter said, I wish I'd been born blind and then suddenly gained sight so that I could have begun to paint in this way without knowing what the objects were that I saw before me. So he's talking about being able to see in a purely optical way without uh, having our mental constructs and concepts um, change the way things appear to us. So when you do sketching, the simplest kind of sketches, small ones are called thumbnail sketches. They're usually bigger than your thumbnail, but they could be that small. And this is a great way to generate different variations uh, by making a frame and looking at things from different points of view and just doing quick sketches like the different variations of the sailboat there or views of the uh, interior of this room. When you're outside in the world or inside in the world, you don't have any real limits. You can look all around, up and down, and there's no border on your vision that you can see. If you hold your hands up, eventually you won't be able to see them if they move out wide. But when you draw, uh, make a drawing or a painting, there's a frame. What we want to work on today is using a consistent frame uh, when we're drawing and looking so that we can get drawings uh, in proportion that fit with what we see. So for example right now I'm looking out across this lawn and I see a house and I see this tree and if I decide I want to make a drawing of just the, the tree trunk and the branches and I'm going to frame it on this horizontal rectangle and then draw a rectangle on my paper that corresponds to that same proportion. Now when you go back and look, as you will when you're drawing, you're constantly looking at the thing and then looking at your paper and then looking back at the thing. You want to be able to anchor this frame and put it back to the same place every time so you want to sort of memorize where your frame is. Now in this case, I'm going to put my frame so that the bottom of the drawing is right at the base of the tree. And I'm going to put the top of the drawing right where that middle branch splits into two. And I've got my right hand side, I've got that light colored bush there beside the window of the house. And on the left, I've got another sort of light colored bush. So I go and draw some, which is not easy to do in this situation. I put in the basic uh, tree drawing. Now I want to go back and check some things. And I need to go back to that same spot. So I find where my frame was. The bottom at the bottom of the tree, the top of the frame is right where the middle part splits in two. And then that light branch, light bush over there is um, my right side. So when I go back to the drawing, I can start getting more precise with things, putting in the horizon line, putting in some of the shrubs, some details of the house, the windows of the house. Uh, there's a little recycling bin or something over there. So when you make this sketch, you get the whole 
the whole optical image of what you were drawing. If you want to make a sketch in a vertical format, eh, then you want to make your frame a vertical rectangle, up and down. So if you were doing it that way, would want to make your rectangle on your paper a vertical rectangle.